Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I thought I'd tell you a story that my mom told me in relation to a um, uh, newspaper story that I saw the other day. So they're related but they're miles apart in terms of years and generations. When I was very young my mother told me the story of the Great Depression and that was a time that she lived through before I was born. And in the time of the Great Depression, there was no work to be had. There were a number of reasons uh, why many men couldn't find work at all. And so she said they, they left their homes and their families in hopes of finding work elsewhere. And they roamed around and lived under bridge abutments, off the sides of roads, in encampments, crude encampments of tent, tent dwellings, and looked for work from there in hopes that they could get money to support their families. And um, these tent uh, villages were kind of huge sometimes, and the people at that time, they had a notion uh, because the, there was some law, lawlessness there and there was um, sometimes fighting and brawling and alcohol drinking and uh, maybe even occasionally murders and like that and of course there was a problem with sanitation and how do these people have enough food to eat and did their uh, uh, did their tents hold up in a rainstorm and could they be warm in the snow and so forth these were desperate men and so the people uh, in, this, in the towns that lived near these homeless encampments would come and there would be huge fights and killings and drivings off of people and so forth. Then uh, finally uh, it came to the attention of the government that they tried to think of a solution to this problem. And one of the things they came up with uh, was, was the idea of hiring these people to do public uh, works projects all over the United States and often in areas that were rural. So they would hire them and in that way these people would have just enough money to support their families and they would transport them to these very rural locations. One of the ideas I have is that then they could get into no trouble. You know, there'd be no alcohol, they would get their food for, supplied for them and they would be off amongst other people that were in equal economic straits in a place where there was really nothing to be done but very hard work with the, with the good results too because among these public work projects of the 40s, I think it was the 40s, um, many still remain today. There are bridges that were built all over the United States. They worked on all kinds of public projects, roads and like that. And they did great work, great work, very enduring work that's still there. And so they built the transportation system of America during a time when there was, with it, there was no hope. The government helped to supply them with, a, with a, uh, a living for themselves and their families. That's mom's story. And... Um, and so now to get to the story that I saw in the newspaper the other day, I saw a story about a homeless encampment in San Francisco. And there were problems um, that were reminiscent of the homeless encampments in the 40s. Problems with lawlessness, sanitation, the use of drugs, and so on. And so the government uh, ordered that everyone leave that area. Some people complied and some people would not comply at the time of that I read this, this newspaper article. Um, there were people that were t determined to stay and express their right to, to be where they were. So I just, I feel it's time for, for the government to consider what can be done to employ these people what can be done. There was a nurse there who had lost her work, right? 
What can be done to ch turn around this situation? How can these people be housed? How can they receive medical care? How can they get hope back into their lives and so forth? It's, it's important. This time is now, right? We don't want homelessness and lawlessness in our cities. But the answer is not violence. The answer is not government edicts to move on. The answer is some constructive thing that can, that can help them to achieve whatever goals they may have that are you know, positively oriented towards a society, you know. So I hope this will be considered in the near future for America. We were we thought of it long ago, and this is just a, like a redux. It's a return to something to help them maintain their ideal of the American dream, just like we have an ideal. There's one more thing that I found out during my recent road trip. I was in an area where um, it was a county seat, where there was a. Um, a work a re kind of a real alignment program that allowed all but violent criminals to um, to work at things like emptying trash receptacles and road work and so forth um, and then just being in in prison at night people who had been convicted of crimes that were not notably violent and this seems to be the wave of the future for uh, for a criminal justice is not so much to house people in hopeless circumstances where they simply scheme to get back at society for what has been done to them but instead to allow them a chance to to work towards towards uh, a, a change in their attitude, uh, a chance to 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 have jobs like other people have, and 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 a chance to be treated more um, humanely, so that they be, can begin to learn the rules, the true rules of society. You see, because the likelihood is that people who you know operate <clears throat> with a criminal mind have not been granted that kind of view of the way that society functions that most people get. So this is a chance to do that. I'll look up the name of the program and I'll provide it for you. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care. Love you lots. Bye-bye.